Hello beautiful collective and welcome to your reading today, okay? Firstly, I would like to thank everybody for um, your likes, shares, subscribes and support to the channel. I appreciate you guys, okay? If any of you would like to book a personal reading, you know what to do or for decks or anything like that, everything is in the description box below, okay? So today, the energy that we have here, we've got anger management, that's what um, the card says underneath, okay? Um, we have female power, but this could be male power, just power in general, okay? Genderless, we don't discriminate over here, okay? Oh, that's what I forgot to say. Um, the energy or the reading may not resonate for you, okay? If it does, feel free to switch the genders, switch the roles, switch the position, positions. We'll do what you have to do and leave the rest, okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles here. We have the heroine with spy and strength. So we've got one energy here and we've got one energy on this side. So what I'm kind of getting here is for some of you, you're in your power right now, okay? Like I said, male or female, it does not matter, okay? I feel like you're feeling very powerful, very confident. You're definitely looking good. This Nine of Pentacles card to me is just so sexy. Like, let's just look at her for a minute, okay? She's got like a perfect body. Like, look at her shape. Her hips are not too big, not too small, okay she just looks good she looks like she's doing well okay she looks like she's doing well okay so somebody here um is very confident self-sufficient self-made i feel like you're doing something confidently on your own you're building some kind of foundation here okay now with the spy and the anger management and the strep it's almost like someone is watching you and they're angry as fuck okay this could be a leo a scorpio or you could have these placements, okay? It's almost like someone is upset that you're in your power and you're, um, how can I say? You're resisting them, but at the same time, it's like someone can't resist you. It's like someone can't stop watching you, but then they get angry when they watch you. Or they get angry when they try to figure out what it is that you're doing, but they can't, like, it's like a, a sick addiction, okay? I feel like I'm hearing like you don't look like what you've been through because I think I've channeled that message before. I feel like some of you are doing something really independently regardless of whether... Oh, come from me, Ashen. Can you hear that outside? Regardless of whether or not you are at the Nine of Pentacles. You could be at the Eight of Pentacles right now where you're working on something diligently, you're building. But to how people view you, you are the Nine of Pentacles. So people view you as perfection. They view you as someone who can stand alone, do things by themselves, and they look good doing it, and they don't need anybody, okay? You're doing something single-handedly. Also, they view you as somebody who's unique. There's not many like you, if any, like a rarity, okay? I feel like you've been through a lot. I'm getting that someone is very intimidated by you, very, very intimidated. This could be somebody who has their own position of power. So it's kind of like you're coming through because, you know, technically the strength would trump the nine of pentacles card. But you see, look how measly this energy over here is. We've got the strength card over here, but we've got the spy and the anger right here. It's like someone's trying to tame their inner beast. It's like this is this person, but yet you embody what this person thinks that they are, if that makes sense. Someone can't tame their inner beast or they can't tame their inner demon. I feel like you make people, you draw out an energy in people um, and they project onto you. You, you, you bring out the stuff that people are trying to hide or conceal. I feel like people have gone through a lot of traumatic events, but I feel like so have you. This is the thing. I'm getting something about speculation. Like, oh, well, you're the Nine of Pentacles because you don't be doing shit or you don't do this or you don't do that or you haven't been through what I've been through. How the fuck do you know what struggles and trials and tribulations I have been through? How the fuck do you know, bitch? How do you know? I'm just getting that people are looking and speculating and talking shit. I feel like the reason as to why you're so powerful is because you've been through things. You know, I feel like someone has knowledge, but you have actual experience. You understand? I don't even feel like someone has knowledge. I feel like they have falsified knowledge because they have assumption and opinions. Someone thinks that their opinions and their assumption means that it's a fact. <laughs> Someone's dumb as fuck, okay? So that's what I'm getting. I'm just getting that you haven't been through what I've been through. I feel like some of you have been through a lot. You could have been through near-death experiences. You could have suffered losses. You could have taken care of really ill people in your family. You could have been homeless. 
Um, you could have been in poverty at one point where, you know, you don't know if you're going to survive till the end of the week and you just have to drink water for breakfast, lunch and dinner, you know. Some of you could have been locked in a room and been beaten to a pulp by your partner. Some of you could have been bullied. Like, there's, there's so much shit that you could have gone through as a child. You could have been molested. You could have been bullied in school. Um, you could have been rejected or neglected. You could have grown up with psych, psych, um, psychopathic parents. Um, okay. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe you were in foster care. You know what I mean? I feel like you've been through a lot. You could have also shared the sim same similar experiences as the person, the people that are hating on you. But you see, what the difference here is that you don't look like what you've been through. Or you don't... Um, you have healed from what it is that you've been through. I feel like someone hasn't healed. They may have reached some kind of level of... Um, like some kind of like... They may have accomplished something or reached some kind of level of success with the with the, the major arcana on this side. But I feel like this person has major anger issues because they haven't dealt with something. It's almost like she's angry because she's like, well, how are you got more power over me, but I've got the strength energy. It's almost like someone's trying to figure out what your weak spot is, like what your kryptonite is, what your Achilles heel is, like what, 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 what's your weakness? I don't have a weakness, bitch. You do, though. I feel like someone appears like they're the strength, but they're not. They, they, they are, they are traumatized by their experiences, but you're not traumatized. Therefore, people, people assume you haven't been through anything because you don't look traumatized or because you don't get triggered by a word or you don't get triggered by something that you see on the TV or something that someone says, or you don't take something the wrong way. You don't have triggers because you've dealt with your inner demons. You, you have done your inner child healing work. I feel like there's a lot that people have been through, especially as a child, that they haven't, they've suppressed those emotions. Maybe people or this person or whoever the fuck this motherfucker is over here has like PTSD or something. Maybe they've de developed some kind of undiagnosed traumatic personality disorder that, um, so that they're susceptible to like being triggered by your energy because your energy is very healing. I feel like someone here is like a self healer. They may have very powerful healing energy. Check where your Chiron is in your chart and I'm hearing something about your hygiene but that's more like your physical healing and your your physical beauty and your healing okay but Chiron you know that's like the wounded healer energy so you could have Chiron in like Leo do you know what I mean so I feel like for some of you you've got strong healing power so you're able to help self-heal yourself and also heal others around you. But I feel like what it is, is that you, I feel like as well, for some of you, people think that they've healed from certain things, but they haven't. Because you've got a healing energy, you attract damaged people because you're supposed to bring up what, what um, you're supposed to bring up the wounds to the surface so that they can be recognized and healed. But like people don't take it like that. They just get triggered or they're very resentful towards you. Or they're very angry and they don't understand why they're angry because I'm a healer, bitch. And you got shit that you need to work on. They don't want to face themselves. They want to feel like, well, you know, that was a past. I've dealt through it. I've gone through it. Well, no, you haven't, though, because now it's turning you into an angry, bitter, angry bitch where you can't form connections with people. Every time you make, um, <coughs> excuse me, you try to form connections with people, whether it's platonic or romantic, it goes to the fan. Because this is like, I'm hearing someone say, like, well, why does this always happen? Or why does this? Or people are so annoying. No, you're annoying. You're the angry one. I feel like for some of you, you are a god or a goddess. Like I said, you don't look like what you've been through. Even if you read stories about gods and goddesses and how they actually became into the position that they are, they've gone through, they went through some shit, you know. A lot of it is like um, sacrificial energy. It takes a lot to be ordained to be crowned a god or a goddess. But I feel like someone doesn't want to see you like that. Like I said, especially if somebody feels like or they're in a better position of power than you, you know what I mean? It's just like, well, and so your soul hasn't um, evolved, though. Your, your power, your status may have evolved. You may have climbed to the ladder and climbed to the top, but your, your, your soul still on like level one or two, darling. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like yours. Your, you have ascended spiritually. Somebody is like stuck in some kind of like loop. 
But like I said, I feel like you've gone through a lot. You can still be going through shit, but you don't look like what you've been through. This is like someone who's the same age as you, but they look like 10 years older. Or this could be people who are younger than you, but they look older than you. Or you could just be aging backwards. Every time someone sees you, just like, God, you look, you look better than you did last year. You look better than you did two, three years ago. Yes, but no, I look good. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles energy, of course. Because you've worked on your inner self. So because you've healed your inner child, your inner child is exuding through you externally. Therefore, you have a youthful presence and a youthful glow. You're not leaving your inner child at the place it was when you were a child. If that makes sense. When you were frightened or alone or neglected or afraid or whatever traumatic experience that you went through where you couldn't evolve. You're healing your inner child. So your inner child is expressing itself through your skin, through your energy, through your honor, through your pro and productivity. So you could be feeling very creative. But I'm just getting that people just keep making speculations about you. And I think it's just annoying. But you know what? You're going to see people going through their karma. You're going to see people going through trials and tribulations. <laughs> And that's when you know that's your confirmation. It's like, oh, is, oh she's going through it, is she? <laughs> oh, oh, is that what happened to him? <laughs> oh, is that what happened to that group that I love? <laughs> I mean, let these people be angry, man. Let them hate. Why well, you delegate and you celebrate and you elevate. You know what I mean? People are not appreciating your presence. Because it's why I feel like for some of you, you're very humble as well. You're just like, I actually understand my power. I understand why I'm in your life too. But like, you know, you don't understand that. And that's okay. You're not trying to prove your, your strength. You're not trying to prove yourself. But you bring out this energy in other people. This like competitive energy. Where they feel the need to compete with you. They feel the need to overpower you. They feel the need to belittle you. They feel the need to try and... Um, destroy you in some type of way when you ain't doing shit but looking handsome or pretty as fuck or just doing your thing because i feel like for some of you you understand how um damaging anger is anger and stress is like the root of a lot of illness it manifests in your body as an illness people like can die because they get stressed or it it, it um it basically strengthens or amplifies should i say the illness that they have within them so for example if you have cancer right and then you're stressed your you that can make your cancer spread if that makes sense if you're stressed like say you get can you find out you have cancer and it's at like the early stage and next thing you know it spreads like wildfire because obviously you're stressed you're panicking you're worrying about that that was just an example but you know touch the wood i hope no one has that but um, i'm just saying you could already have like an illness and you don't understand why it's getting worse or why it's progressing so much when like maybe the doctor told you like, oh, you know, it's going to take a while for it to such and such. You've got enough time to do this and that. Next, you know, it spreads that wildfire because you're, you're panicking or you're stressed or like high blood pressure. Like if you panic too much or you, you stress out too much, you can have a stroke if you have high blood pressure. You can get blood clots and shit. This is why you're not supposed to be around things that make you angry or you're not supposed to um, um, react or you have to work on your inner stuff because you, you end up killing yourself. Or you will go to toxins which will make your illness worse or produce something that wasn't there before. So i.e. some people may comfort eat when they're stressed or when they're feeling some type of way. Then they're putting a lot of processed foods, sugars, GMOs into their bodies. Next thing you know, they've got... Um, I don't know, diabetes or something because they eat too much sugar. Every time they're upset, they eat a lot of sugar. Now they've got diabetes. Well, that's a, that's a form of you killing yourself through some something that you haven't learned how to deal with in a healthy way. That's why I always say to people, find a creative avenue when you're upset. If you're someone that's very aggressive, go kickboxing. Work out or buy yourself like, like a beanbag where you can like punch it or something like that. Find a way to get your aggression out where it's not affecting other people but it's also helping your body if that makes sense it's strengthening your physique so you can channel that anger out 
but you're repairing yourself at the same time. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you're learning how to transmute that energy. And if you are triggered by someone that has all of this power, then you have to think to yourself, well, what is it about this person that triggers me or that makes me angry? There's something in that person that you probably want to obtain, but you don't have. It could be their strength. Like I said, some people where they, they, they think that they're strong and then they actually meet strength itself. And then it's like, oh shit. You're actually a lot more stronger than I am. But then again, it's like, well, you know, you, you probably got your strength because you haven't been, been through shit. No, people are strong normally because they've been through a lot of shit. That's what makes them strong. But they don't dwell in the past or they don't allow their experiences to define them. Or like I said, they may find healthy ways. Because when you're around a lot of people that are damaged or when you're around people that can kind of, you can relate to, you know, because it turns into trauma bonding. So it's kind of like, oh, I went through this when I was younger. Or I went through this with this person. Oh, yeah, so did I. And the next thing you know, that's all you guys are talking about and complaining about. Or you you bond because you both have that same experience. You may be like, Do you know what? I don't want to bond with people because I've been through that experience. I want to heal from that and attract people who are healthy minded that don't keep taking me back to 1962 or 1975 or 1993. You know what I mean? Or 2012. Like, I don't want to keep going back there. That's not healthy. I don't want to be around people or when I'm sad, the first thing they say is have a spliff, have a drink. That's not really dealing with the problem though. That's just feeding the inner demons that are um, tormenting me with the past memories. And then what will happen is now every time I start to feel that way, that inner demon is like, well, you know what? If you don't want me to torment you, if you don't want to feel this type of way, you best get me a drink. You must get me a smoke. Next thing you know, you can't go throughout the day without without having a glass of wine, a beer, or a fucking cigarette, or, a, or, or weed. Now, you can do whatever you want to do, but, like, anything excessively is not good for you. There's There has to require some kind of balance. So I feel like somebody here is balanced and someone else is not. They're a fake, they're a phony, but I feel like you reveal the fakeness in someone. You're like, you're not, you're not strong. You're not what you appear to be. I always get that um song. It's called Karma um, by Was I On Key. I absolutely adore him. I used to follow him. Well, I still do. I just don't really fuck with Instagram like that. But I used to follow him on Insta. Well, I did. And when, like, years ago when he first started out and he used to, like, rap and stuff. And then he became really popular on li online and like he would reply to you and talk to you in the DMs and everything. He was so like amazing. And I was, when he um, like kind of blew up, I was so happy for him because I was like, yeah, he's so underrated. Even now he's still underrated because he doesn't rap like every other rapper. He's not the kind of conventional type of rapper, like, you know, how they look. He doesn't talk about, like he doesn't have like girls with huge asses and tits in his vid their videos, like just acting like whores. Like he raps about real shit, real life experiences. And he's got a flow, like, he's just so amazing. So, um, and he's got a song called Karma. His name is Was I On Key, Karma. And in his song, he says, um, you have a presence online, but really you ain't that impressive on person. So I feel like this is what it is. I feel like someone has accomplished a lot. They've got some kind of, like, status that they need to fulfill. A lot of people look up to them, they worship them. But behind closed doors, this person is fucking insane. They're insane, they're damaged. They're an addict. And I feel like you come with this pure energy. Some of you could have Virgo placements. But maybe you're not the same level as them. Or maybe you are, but you don't deal with things the way that they do. Because you know when you reach a certain level of su su success, it's a lot to handle. You get a lot of weirdos and people, especially if it's like something on the internet. You get a lot of weirdos just projecting onto you all the time. Codependent energy. It's a lot to take in. So if you haven't handled your inner demons and stuff, you're not going to be able to handle success. And that's a lesson for everybody. I even had to learn that like on my other channel. I mean, it wasn't that great. It's like only 6K, but I used to get a lot of fucking hate and shit. And I had to learn how to um, detach because I'm so sensitive to energies. Like I'm so sensitive. It's all my Virgo placements, all my Libra placements. Like I'm just in tune with everything. So someone can say, oh, just don't let the hate get to you. But it's like, I can't not let the hate get to me because the hate 
is projected into me. Like I feel someone's hatred. I can see what someone's thinking about me. I can hear things. Only those who are truly spiritual and truly like a light worker, a true spiritual being will understand. Only people that are empaths will understand. When you're empathic and you've got all of these abilities, abilities that you can't even explain to people because they'll probably never even believe you. You have to learn how to manage that. You have to learn how to transmute that energy. You have to learn how to turn envy into love. You know, you know, you have you have to you have to learn how to kind of how um, I don't want to say steal people's power, but you have to learn how to convert power. So whatever people project on you, everything is intention, right? So when someone projects onto you and you feel that energy, when you get it and it comes through you, you change it into something else. So you have to master being a magician, basically. Not abusing your power or manipulating your power onto other people, but taking the energy that people are throwing at you and transmuting it into something else. And especially if you've got like a lot of Venus placements and you know, you'll probably find that you get a lot of Mars energy coming at you. Like people want to war and attack you. So you've got to learn how to transmute that Mars into Venusian energy. So this is kind of like, say we're talking about, you know, spell work and shit. If somebody's trying to do negative energy towards you, right? And they want to do a spell to kind of ruin your beauty. You may have mastered the energy where like anything that comes to you, you're just like, well, Venus, just, just, just handle that. And Venus is like, okay, boom. Now you're even more beautiful. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how to like, um, make things backfire, should I say, or this could be your ancestors. Maybe you're just a master of protection. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, you have to be able to handle the energy and once you handle that energy, that's how you step into your power. It's almost like it's water for ducks back now. Like somebody projects on me. First of all, I'm psychic because fuck, I can already see it happening. I can see it like months before it happens. Out here, someone's going to do a psychic attack to you tomorrow. Okay, cool. My ancestors already got that on, on point. Next thing you know, I hear that person's going for a towel moment. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, that's, that's what power really feels like. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, some of you have mastered that. But you had to experience something in order to learn how to master it. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's where you get your strength from. Well, how do I, how do I deal with envy? Well, we're going to put you in a situation, like initiation, where you go through envy and you go through attacks. Then how are you, hand you going to handle that? How do I handle like mean people? Well, we're going to put you with the most angry and aggressive person. So you know how to deal with that energy now. And also it teaches you, because I think I said this in one of my other readings. Everyone teaches you something. So if you're dealing with someone who's crazy as fuck, it teaches you sanity. When you look at someone who's very destructive, you think to yourself, well, do I want to be like that? Or is that how I behave when I'm destructive? Okay, now, nah. when, when, when you deal with abandonment, it teaches you independence. Now, if you, if you deal with someone that's always ghosting you or always abandoning you, well, they're teaching you how to be alone. So by the time that, per that each time that person comes back, you feel less, you feel more and more disconnected from them. It's like you don't even realize you're empowering me because you keep leaving. And then what happens is the reverse happens. You know when they say absence makes the heart grow fonder? Because a lot of people, they do that shit on purpose. To, to, to try and keep the power to control so that you chase. So when you understand that and you disconnect, well, I'm not going to... Look, Spike produces the worst karma. Don't be stupid. Um, when you understand that, you're like, okay, well, now I've understood the assignment. I understand what you're doing. I'm just not... I'm just going to just do my own thing then. I'm not going to worry about whether you come back or not. I'm not going to worry about all of that shit. I'm not going to try to understand your energy because it's conflicting with my energy, then that's how you gain your power back. Now, the person that keeps abandoning you or ghost you, they can't live without you, but you're the one that keeps leaving though, but yet when, you're, when you leave, you don't know what to do without me. The irony. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is why these people keep returning. And then they have less and less and less control over you because you're teaching me how to be independent from you. That's what I've learned. Now I don't need your energy anymore, but now you need mine. That's how karmic law and energy works. When they say the tables, the wheels always turn, they do always turn. 
because a lot of people do things out of spite they do things out of like they have like this reactive behavior because they don't think they're not very empowered they haven't healed from certain things so i feel like you have healed and someone or people just can't believe that and like i said they will speculate people want to try and uh, that was it the gemini reading where it was like your hot topic, everybody's gossiping about you. People don't understand what it is that you're doing, how you've done something. First of all, it's not their business. As they say, you know, um, what people think about you is none of your business. And was it Coco Chanel that said, um, I don't care what you think about me. I don't think of you at all. But expect envy, expect jealousy, expect hatred, expect these projections. But when you wake up and you feel so good, you feel extra good, you feel extra empowered, you feel extra elevated, you feel extra creative, you feel extra productive, you feel extra beautiful, you feel extra handsome, you feel extra, all of the extras, but in a good way, just know that probably indicating that someone's trying to do some shit to you. And the divine, your ancestors, your spirit guides, karma herself, or just you in general, have transmuted that energy. And it's, you're allowing it to fuel you in a positive way. Because, you know, as they say, as above, so below, the happier you, happier you are, the angrier your enemies will be. Okay? So don't worry. People are just mad. They're mad as but, but their anger will kill them. They're just, they're, they're, and people are creating their own demise. They don't even know it. That ego, man. That ego. All right. So let's just pull a message. Yeah, you need to listen. People weren't listening. They didn't want to listen to you because somebody thought that they were, they overpowered you or something. Well, I'm hearing you're going to learn today. You want to hear me. You need to embrace your inner sex. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you look good. I feel like those who were trying shit about you, now they want to listen to you. Because they're, they're thinking, well, how do, you, how, how, how do I get on your level? <laughs> so it's like, as well, when people hate or they project on you, they don't know your story. But like, really, it's because they want to be like you. The ethers, the ascended masters, they're looking down and they're like, okay, you want to keep hanging on that person? You want to keep speculating, acting like they ain't got shit going on in their life or they haven't been through shit? Well, now we're going to put you through what they went through so you can experience how they got to that strength. This is why I always say don't hate on nobody, you know. Or don't wish bad on no one or don't wish to have someone's life. You don't because you're going to be put in that experience. Okay, we have you need to get creative. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Using your um, negative energy and fuel it into, fueling it into something creative. But that could be simply why people are mad at you because you're creative. You're always reinventing yourself because you actually listen to divine guidance. Somebody else listens to demons and their inner anger. They don't want to face what they went through because it's painful, you know. When you hurt yourself, the healing process is hurts more than the actual um, wound. But you have to go through it, you know what I mean? Silence is the best reply to a fool, exactly. I feel like you're not listening to people. You're, you're, not, you're not speaking to people. You're just focusing on yourself. And you like it that way. <laughs> so people are so that that could be that someone's angry because you're ignoring them. Because I feel like someone's too angry. Your energy's too angry. You're too bitter. You're too aggressive. So and I don't want to be around that energy. You don't know how to harness or manage your 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 behavior. You have behavioral issues, emotional issues. Okay. Yeah, the seven of pentacles, you're developing, you've planted your seeds, okay? People can see that you are developing, you're growing. Also, you're very patient. Things are taking time as well, but you understand the process, you understand patience. Yeah, judgment wanted to come out. If you look at that card, look at her face. Look at the way that she's judging that woman. So that's why I feel like I feel like you're on center stage, bearing it out, your titty, everything out. I'm getting like big pussy energy. Someone has to face you, or they can't face themselves. Maybe somebody's in a slut or a whore, or they've done some slutty whorish things. <laughs> like, maybe that's how you make someone feel. 
or someone is judging you maybe somebody feels like you use your body or something to get what you want and you're just like no but fuck it if i'm if i'm fine powerful and sexy say it go like say it go this is what i'm trying to say people are making judgments about you but now they're going through a um the divine is putting them through judgment. People have to look upon themselves and they're seeing themselves for the anger, anger, angry, bitter, jealous, envious. I can't even think of any more words. This is this is what th these energies are filled with. That's this is what they're looking at when they're looking at the mirror. Yeah, the ten of wands. Carrying all of that burden, all that stress. But I feel like you, you, you had the same ones that they did. But people are projecting you. You went through the same trials and tribulations or similar, similar events. Now I mean, let's do an affirmation, guys. Yeah, good luck. Two fell out. I am happy, and I am confident. And this is what this is what it really is about. You're happy and you're confident. Yeah, and I am attracting pure love. Exactly. You are pure Venusian. We were talking about that Venusian energy. You know how to transmute. It's almost like she's saying, listen, let me bring you back down to earth, darling. Let me feed into you. Because this is what the problem is. Somebody doesn't have um, self-love. Self-arrogance, self-ego... Possibly even self-confidence, but not self-love. Self-love is a different thing, okay? Maybe you understand what that is. Somebody else doesn't, okay? But keep being happy. Like I said, the happier you are, the ang more angry someone else is going to be. Yeah, the fitness fanatic. This could be because you're fit, you're working out, or things are just working out in your life. Yeah, the pinup girl. And you're like I said, you look good. You shape up well, you shape up well, you shape up nice. Okay, we have the workaholic here. Yeah, something is working out. I literally just said that. This could be someone that does the same work as you as well. They're trying to compete with you or maybe somebody's afraid that you're going to like surpass them in some type of way. It's like ain't even nobody trying to compete with you.